Uh, now I hear nothing from you. Not even this could hear you. trying one of the new cables. Not the same one from earlier today. Yeah, I feel like the first cable he tried today was way better. can hear you but it sounds horrible yeah the other cable was way better the one you used earlier today Test one, two. Three, four, five. Yeah. Much now better. my own audio is gone. There Wait, we go. And my own Three, audio was gone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did, did uh, you try the other cable uh, before? Yeah, I, I hadn't tested it separately yet, which I probably should have done. But yeah, uh, one thing with that though, and I have to notice that I had, I had to try and plug it in at a separate, at a different USB port because, for some dumb reason, it has a bunch of thickness around it. Uh, that's well pre prevents it from being slotted in next to another cable. So I had to quickly look for another one to put it in. But yeah, I guess that means for now we're sticking with this cable. Uh, the one we used in earlier stream today. Yep. Yeah, that one was the best. But this one you just try now. Maybe some of you are talking from a very bad phone or was filmed from a very old camera. Okay. Hmm. Might have been that the port wasn't good for it. But yeah, I'll have to check that some other way then. Uh, but yeah, we'll be what sticking the... with this cable then. Yeah. And th <laughs> what the heck is going uh, on in the chat? Uh, Cookie used one of the commands to show how long they've been following. Did, did you put it in twice or... Did it just put it out twice, Cookie? Also, we can turn this off. Wait, is that even tied to the connect? I had to do it manually. Do it manually as well. Uh, is that is that even connected to anything? Let's see, multi-action switch. Uh, yeah, that's that should have switched that off and on. Uh, actually, show and. Hide, huh? Why did that not? Okay, it's just not working apparently. Up oh, there it goes. Okay, and yeah, Cookie has been following for seven months now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for that, still, by the way, Cookie. And I hope Thank you're doing you. well. And welcome, uh, Cookie. Okay, uh, can I stretch this? 
and welcome to Evil Land Legendary Edition with me, right. Lieut Lieutenant Drakir, at your service, along with my dear and fumbling but honorable captain. Hmm. Captain Halen, and apparently when when I stretch this out and it doesn't change its shape uh, or it doesn't change its perspective on OBS. For, uh, for some reason, there is no windowed mode option for this game, but it can be forced into windowed mode by just alt entering. And OK, you, you did put it in twice. <laughs> for a moment, I thought I had to go look why the bot was messing up. But OK. Um, <clears throat> OK. We did a showcase of this game, and apparently my controller is having issues connecting. Okay, let me repair that then. As in pairing it up with the computer again. I did that with my headset again, and it's only disconnected one since. So I hope that has fixed that somewhat. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, has it been removed as an option here? Let's see. Ads, Bluetooth, search. Okay. Anyone else hear this? Can anyone else hear it going a bit staticky there? As it's trying to find something? Or was nope. that just on my end? Okay, just I on my end then. I only hear you speak. Hmm. In the game. Okay, is it just... Where is it? It should be somewhere among here. Because it's refusing to be discovered. Let's see. Logitech. Intel. Uh... Hmm. Okay, why is it not among here? And why is it not picking it up? Let's see. Let me try Bluetooth again. But, yeah, we will be... Uh, I sh we showcased Evo Land 1. And... up oh, there it is. Uh, we put it up as a maybe. And I, from there, I continued on with the first game to the end. And it, it was nice. It wasn't exactly great or anything, but it was a nice little love letter to uh, gaming's evolution. And I believe it was Marco. Uh, they, I don't, we, he is named Mark, but we, we call him Marco because of the zero. But yeah, Mark advised that uh, Evil Land 2 might be worth playing anyways. Uh, uh, yeah. His name is Marco. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, it said it said that the controller was advised, but now it's refusing to connect. Let me just restart then quickly. It's one of these games where it'll only recognize it if it is started up with it, and then I need to force it there into windowed modes. Oops. A. Okay. Now it does start. Okay. Let me just reshape this into a better window for me because it's for some reason it opens up in a tiny like 460 by 480 window when windowed and yeah evil land 2 uh let's see adventure enjoy the adventure hard but fair you don't want that <laughs> let's just go adventure then okay and let's let's extend the stream by a bit because of the technical difficulties so let's see one, two, three, four, five. Maybe a bit more, but for now we'll leave it at five extra minutes because we spent ten minutes with technical difficulties. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, G. We are going to begin your daily physical training session. When you hear the buzzer, move to the right. Congratulations, G. On with the exercises. When you hear the buzzer, move to the left. Yeah, from what, from what we, I was told, this game does this. The sequel has more of an actual story than the first, since the first is basically just uh, a dumb, uh, a dumb little love letter <coughs> to uh, the evolution of gaming and such. So it didn't really have much of a story beyond go do this. <coughs> I look around, up at the ceiling and down at the floor. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. <laughs> Perfect, G. Very good. Now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Look farther. 
And we scroll over and... Excellent, G. As you can see, shrubs are blocking your way. You should feel an... <laughs> okay, you can cut it out now. You should feel an irrational desire to chop them down with the sword we have provided. Nope, sword. Oh. Okay, I f at first I thought that was going to be a Pokemon reference to run in there. <laughs> but no, it's, Le it's Zelda. Congratulations. You were quite pleased to have chopped down in those shrubs. As a reward, we will put on some relaxing music. Good. You appreciate this music. Continue on your way, Gene. We kind of look a bit like... We can now... Our apologies, a computing error. I missed that. In short, fight. <laughs> okay. And the music is cut out. Okay. Nicely done, G. You are pleased with your fights. Oh, hello. So that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colors. I, I wouldn't call these much of tests. Yes, he's just right for the task we'll be entrusting to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. Rest assured, Professor. We've checked and double-checked. Everything will proceed as planned. Also, let me just turn my fan up a bit, because the summer has gone back to summer temperatures, so it is rather warm in here. And our stuff is getting blown around a bit. Oop. Let me move those. Probably should put those in something. Good. Then we'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. <laughs> they don't have high expectations of someone for this task, then. If that was all that was required. Oh, oh this is quite nice. A long time ago, the, the Magi civilization had discovered great secrets. Secrets. Why did I almost say that in Uwu language? Secrets. No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after, marking the beginning of a new era. So how is... Uh, a bit late on this, but how are you, Cookie? And how is the audio balancing at the moment? Not too loud? I hope. In the year 950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human Empire won at great cost. Fifty years later, the city of Genova is preparing the remembrance ceremony of, of the victory. Okay. But not everything is as peaceful as it seems. The second one is simply the odd... The first... The third one there was simply the first reversed. Oop. <laughs> Already an upgrade? Oh, you're awake. Are you feeling better? My father found you passed out deep in the forest. You don't remember anything? Not even your name? Maybe if you wanted around the forest, that would help jog your memory. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> of course we can name them. Uh, let's leave it as Fina. I... I hope you remember everything quickly. Okay. In the previous game, we had to slowly build up to uh, yeah, developments in the gaming uh, industry. Like, we only started being able to go left and right, like at the very start. Then we unlocked the ability to move up and down. 
And then, well, color got added, sound got added, animations, and just a steady in increase in <clears throat> a steady increase in graphics. And eventually, we even got into 3D graphic, uh, 3D uh, worlds. And the main gimmick of the game was being able to switch between 3D and 2D worlds, where some things would be op complete obstacles, uh, impassable obstacles in one era. And what you could get around in the other. Okay. Everything looks nice. Let's see. Finrost. You were young yeah, you're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Fina has been worried about you. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. If you wish to go into the forest, take the path that crosses the bridge and make your way north. But you do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. Okay. Oop. At the bottom of the well, you make out the remains of an adventurer. Who would be dumb enough to go down a well? Uh, then again, um, it is a trope that there are things at the bottoms of wells. Like, the, the same way it's a trope that there's caves behind waterfalls. Let's see. The Empire. Uh, yeah, the war against the demons ended 50 years ago with the Empire victorious. We've had peace ever since, but you never know. Just keep running to stay in shape. <laughs> Let's see. Normally I'd be out for a stroll in the forest around this time, but a bunch of monsters appeared there recently. In fact, it was right after Finrost brought you here. They attacked you, didn't they? Probably. Well, it's also a, it's also a, a, a trope <laughs> that you just play someone who just wakes up with amnesia. The, the, the fact that it happens so much could even be memed upon. Or, yeah. <laughs> it, what, I went, what I meant to say there is that it's become such a trope that even the meme of it getting troped on and memed on could be memed on itself, if that makes any sense. Let's see. I heard that pirates are camped out on the Cursed Isle. So far, they've only attacked boats belonging to Sierra traders. Rumor has it that their leader is a giant with a crazy big mustache. Uh, but <laughs> what did you do there, no, Cookie? Did you put in my name? Let's see. Wait, the first one, the first one that you did earlier was an at at yourself. Let's see. Uh, uh, and yeah, I believe. Uh, Cookie asked if you have uh, twitched Rakir. I almost said if the <laughs> Twitch has Rakir. I don't have Twitch. Okay. Uh, I don't. Let's see. Everything for mustaches, really. Okay. Uh, where could we find a weapon? Even a stick would probably do for now. Have you heard of the Sylphs? They're strange beings that exist out of time. Some say a Sylph lived in these parts long ago. What might have happened to her? Also, why do I get the feeling that the three we met earlier were Magi? This door is closed. It's... <laughs> no, that's my name, Cookie. Don't go performing identity theft. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, now, am I going to grab an ice cream cone? So it's the I only should... weapon that can prevent Helio from turning into a vampire. Let's see. This village is so boring. I would have loved to live that <laughs> at the time of Emperor Lothair. Or Loth <laughs> okay, is that supposed? Yeah, that is very likely I supposed to be a meme. Lothair. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I could have been a general in his army and fought demons. You would most likely be the idiot at the front line who'd get themselves killed immediately. Okay, the doors open automatically. This inn was built shortly after Fina's grandfather founded the village. We welcome any traveler who wants to rest here. Well, except demons, of course. No way is one of them gonna set foot in my place.
Oop. Probably going to get a weapon here then. Let's... Welcome to everything under the sun. Here you'll find everything under the sun. Except I don't have anything to sell at the moment, so we'll find nothing under the sun. The road to the Empire's capital was blocked by rock slides. It will probably be a few more days before they clear it out. Yes, I know. Another rock slide. <laughs> it's like they happen every other day. Are you looking for a weapon to go out into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village. But it's been abandoned since... I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old man Paul. He's got the key. Watch yourself. He's not the most easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. Well, let's go bother him while he's fishing. Probably not uh, the same <laughs> as Dr. Paul. Paul! P-U-L, Paul! Not Paul! Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare tell <laughs> Fina this, but I'm kind of jealous of her. I mean, she's the chief's daughter, and she's so sweet and full of life. And apparently she has magical powers? Although her whole family is a little off. Okay. Hmm. What a nice day to fish in peace, with nobody around to bug me. Well, almost nobody. What? The key to the old house? Hmm. I might have it. Or not. It depends. How about you do me a favor in return? Sure. See, I have this fish-related issue I can't seem to solve. You don't have any bait? Maybe a young fella like yourself could help me out. Oop. Uh, also, again, Cookie, did you put in the commands twice there? Again, for some reason? Be right back. Let's... You can clean my glasses properly, it seems. Let's see. And a one fishing rods. My fishing rods are all tangled up. I can't tell one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rods did I use to catch that fish? Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, starting at the fish, we go up, we then go left, we then go up, we then go right, then we go up, right, up, right. Okay, number four it is. Yep, wrong. Yep. Yep. Uh, I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> Okay, that, that was a reference to Professor Layton, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I thought we had... I thought he was going to bring up a... I thought he was going to bring up a menu with numbers. Okay. That one. <laughs> yeah, that, totally a Professor Layton reference. Thanks for helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's not good to any man anyway. Key to the old house. Use a guide, insert in the lock of the appropriate door, then turn. <laughs> the key comes with a manual, really? Uh, oh, also, I just realized I forgot to do something after last time. Uh, let's see. Contents. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot to change the content warning settings back to normal, since this isn't uh, really a violent game, I'm going to guess. Watch it turn into Doom in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> nope. Okay. But, yeah. Well, enough for you. There. Yeah, I, I'm curious about how this game is going to be. Like, I'm guessing that the whole gaming errors thing is still going to be a thing. And I'm not saying that the first game was bad. It, it was a very well-made love letter, but uh, it was a bit tedious at times. As well, it had as it yeah, it had to progress through things, where it left some areas a bit annoying. Let's see. Oh, hello. Mm, old sword. Here's hoping it doesn't shatter on the first blow. <laughs> oh. and of course, immediately after, slimes. Everything alright on your end? You know... 
It's one of those days where the gloss just refuse to get clean. Yeah. For some reason, my on my with my glasses, for some reason the right uh, lens would that be the right word? Would be uh, would get you know, gets fogged up for some reason. A lot faster than the other. But oh well. Moving on. We're coming up to the 50th. Uh, I'm planning to wear my finest dress at the fireworks show in Genova. Okay. Let's see. I'm the evil demon king. If I catch you, I'll bite you. Uh, <laughs> uh, sure. Just kids playing. Let's see. Can we check in here? My husband won't stop cutting wood. Where are we going to store all this? <laughs> and hopefully the forest guardian isn't too upset by all the rackets. Uh, okay. okay, that you can get since the, or it's okay as someone does always shopping wood. Someday I'm going to explore the frozen continent for myself, just like the famed explorer Largo. But today's not a good day. I'm about due for a nap. Uh, of course. Uh, hmm. it, it's playing a lot like uh, the 2D uh, Zelda games at the moment. Hmm. I should maybe look at adding some of those to the to-do list. Legend has oh. it that a guardian lives in the forest. The place does have some very ancient ruins, but I've never run into a guardian in there. Hillian, sweet insect Hillian. This is how most Nintendo and Sega games early on played. Yeah, I know. At least the RPG-ish <laughs> likes. Let's see. Up north, there's the old spellbug uh, spell forest, which is usually pretty quiet. Yeah. Until the monsters attacked, of course. <laughs> Very classic Final Fantasy-like world map. Okay, I'm turning the... Nice little tune! Yeah, and ooh, jelly! <laughs> oh, I want to eat that. Not together with jam. Because apparently peanut butter and jam is a thing. I, I, I've never had that nope. myself. It, it sounds horrible to me. Personally, I prefer to, if I am putting peanut butter with something else, other than bread, I just put it together with sliced banana. Which I think I've said before, it's a very good uh, morning boost. Or at least I... Sliced... What, what now? Banana. Peanut butter banana. Yep. Okay. Is Nutella a peanut butter? No, Nutella is uh, like a, a chocolate spread thing. Oh, Not sure of chocolate. the exact word. I just uh, realized I... it had nut, nut in the name. I wondered, have I eaten peanut butter without realizing? But yeah, I've never eaten peanut butter. As far as we don't sell it in Sweden. Okay, it's odd. Well, at least maybe just not lots of like it's not something you commonly see hmm well if you do find it at any point uh, you know something to possibly try it with hmm. yeah just i mean not try any berry yam with it yes. okay that can probably be cut later or burnt maybe a bit of a bad idea in the middle of a forest but <laughs> how did you <laughs> be that Help! <laughs> Were you trying to come out and help us or something? Probably. There we go. Usually I can manage on my own just fine, but it just so happens that I hate mushrooms. Anyway, thanks uh -oh. for your help. Um, still can't remember your name, can you? How about I choose one for you? It would be temporary, of course, for as long as it takes for you to remember it all. Let's see, your name could be... Kuro. <laughs> I think a certain bird might have an issue with that. Can we... Let's see... Bob. 
Will it accept this amount of letters? Yes. <laughs> goggles. <laughs> goggles, what a great name. <laughs> so, Goggles, what do you say? I hope you. Uh, what do you say? I hope you get deeper into the forest. To the spot where my father found you. <laughs> it just so happens I have this little power that uh, could be of real use to you. And frankly, I intend to go there and find out why all those monsters appeared recently. So shall we? Yeah, let's go. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, I, f I forgot to swap out my water bottle, so it's now lukewarm. Still not too bad, but oh well. You have yeah. Luke? In your water? No. And there we go, I thought so. Now that we're a team, we're going to have to work together. For example, those thorny bushes there. You won't be able to cut them by yourself to clear the way. But with my help, and by focusing, you should be able to do it. Try focusing and I'll come help you. Okay, and what button is that? Y, B, A, or hold. Okay, hold attack. And okay, they have a cooldown that shows there. See, good thing I was here. Still, that really tuckered me out. Once you've called on me, I'll need to rest for a bit before starting again. Feel free to ask just the same, because I'm glad to help you out, <laughs> Goggles. Okay. Save point. Okay, the game will be saved when you enter or leave each zone, at each save point you activate and at some key event. Okay, always nice. That was one of the right. annoying bits with uh, Evoland 1. Uh, until you you had to keep going until you found until you unlocked saving. Yeah. Uh. And yeah, until you until you unlocked extra health, you were yeah you would die in one hit. So that was also rather annoying. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Level up. Congrats. Let's see. Two attack, one defense, and three health. Yeah. Oh, bloody! It's a very bad thing. I said that people talk this about many times. So like, you know how people for use A love to drench their pancakes with syrup. Yeah. We don't do that at all. Like, we do a lot of things with pancakes, like ice cream, bacon, sugar, very others, very else, but not syrup. Yep. <laughs> Okay, a fake rock. <laughs> okay. And scrolls with uh, acorn hats. <laughs> or acorn hats. Not acorn helmets? Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be their head or something. Okay, um... I was thinking something, but now I've lost my thoughts. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Okay, who gave the scrolls coffee? <laughs> uh. Oh, now I remember. Uh, a game to maybe put on the list to do as well at some point. The Bard's Tale. Uh -oh. We made it. This is the spot where my fiat found you. Careful. I see some demons in the clearing. What could they be doing here? Let's hide. They don't look friendly. Hello? Is that it? Cherry, are you sure that's really a Magilite? Magilith? Magil Magilith? Professor Giro's writings are, are unambiguous. If we activate this Magilith, we'll be able to tap into great amounts of Magi energy. It's a Magilith, all right. I saw one just like it years ago. But that one was broken. We absolutely need the energy from this Magilith. According to Professor Gyro's records, the energy within the Forest Guardian would be enough to trigger it. The Guardian's been long dormant, so it must be in a weakened state. 
Also, that totally looks like a Christmas hat. Could have gotten. They could have gone with any other color than red, and not make it look like a Christmas hat. Uh, look again. Hmm? I think there's a pattern here. If you look. Uh, yeah, red hat, red bow thing. Hair. Is blue, and the other one it has it red. Yeah. Yeah, basically the reverse of the other. Yeah. It's, it still looks like a Christmas hat. <laughs> <laughs> we should have no trouble whatsoever defeating it. Okay, what's with you with the half or the partially scarred face? Soon I will have my revenge on those wretched humans. Prepare to summon the Guardian. Goggles, this is awful. If they awake the Forest Guardian, it might attack my village. He's got to do something. You think we should stop him? Yes. It's risky. We might be better off warning somebody. There's no time. The Guardian is a happy mushroom. It's awake. Watch out. It's more powerful than we anticipated. That's the thing where it's itself out destroying the village. We'll return afterwards and finish it off. Oh no, goggles. If we don't do anything, it'll attack my village. We have to try and stop it before it's too late. Yes. I knew I could count on you. I'll help out. Just don't do anything rash, okay? <coughs> okay. Okay, so it throws out explosives, then does it that? Yeah. Okay, you might have to try and rush down. Okay, there are gaps. Okay. Ooh. You can only do one out hit each time. There we go. Eh? If that really was too powerful for those things, then uh, <laughs> I don't think we'll have much trouble with these demons. Gimme. Okay. One attack, one defense. Let's see. The Magilith is shining. I've never seen it do that. Is that what those demons were talking about? Oh, careful. Ancient magic like this has a liking towards jumping into the next available vessel. There's something written on here. Lorum Ispum Dolor Sit Amet. Uh, also a good advice. Don't read ancient text out loud without knowing what they mean. Uh, well, hold on. Tame this Rolo... No, that make... I thought for a moment it was reversed. You you would do the same thing I was doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, uh, what you were was actually trying to read backwards just to see if it made sense. Uh, birds of the same parrot, huh? I speaking of brain, same brain cell. Uh, also, speaking of parrots, uh, I have a parrots now sort of it's a lego one that's been sitting on my desk for a bit <laughs> it's glowing what the heck hey. okay add your own doctor who music here or the star trek <laughs> sounds what what the heck happened? I feel different, less detailed. <laughs> How about you, Goggle? Same? Yes. Now where are we? It's a bit like Spellbuck Forest, but there's something different about it. We be my imagination, though. Either way, those demons put my village at risk. We've got to head there now and warn everyone. Think you can find the path again? Yes. All right, I, I trust you. Let's get going. Okay, I see what is going on now. One thing that was also with the last game, oh hello, is that when you jumped from 2D graphics to 3D, 
the uh, 3D graphics would be sort of the future. So saplings would have grown into full trees there. And uh, if you jump back, you could get rid of some trees if they were back to saplings. So yeah, we've, we've jumped into the past now. By going from, uh, what, 16 bits to 18 bits-ish? I'm gonna need another pint. <laughs> shuck, shuck, shuck. But I'm guessing now, whenever we jump between quote-unquote eras, we'll be jumping between different styles of gaming and such. So, we've jumped from a uh, detailed 2D to less detailed 2D. I'm guessing we might jump back to Game Boy era and jump forward to uh, 3D. I'm curious how the far horror. back and forth we might go. Oh, the horror. And... Yeah? Are you sure those are not helmets? <laughs> they might be, but... I think it's funnier to think of as their heads. Oh, there we go, I had a feeling about that. Is that just because you want to call them nut heads? <laughs> Maybe. What, I'm, well, guess I'm guessing you're thinking nuts to that? Oh, right, there's no boo button here. <laughs> okay, a collectible star. Yeah, those are just extra stuff. Not intending on finding all of them. But nice to pick up. You know what? I kind of think I'm glad they, had, they went with acorn heads. But there's other pawns. I think this would probably be a bad idea to add to this game. Probably. Like... Like, if you've seen the movie Little Nicky, that's definitely one that I think you would argue it should not appear in a game like this. Uh, mm, don't think character. I've seen that. But I can uh, think if... I can think of one other thing they could have done to put on the squirrels' head. Chickens. Or roosters, to be specific. <laughs> took us 70 seconds. <laughs> you, you, you're using it wrong. Uh, how am I using it wrong then? I think you're using the term dickhead. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking cockhead. <laughs> Wait, is that the actual term? Uh, I think so. Uh, let's see, can we... I guess we can I clean that up. I think you just made me, for the first time, say the word. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm just glad, I, again, I don't swear at people. Uh. And again, I also did not begin use this swear word until I was 21. Uh. So um, what you're yeah. saying is that uh, my presence is corruptive? Uh, they got corrupted by all the people. But mm. yeah. And I've been told by many, like my, my parents and all that, that swearing is not bad, but not really swearing unless you swear it at someone. That's when it's actually bad. Yeah. Then it would be more like what people, people typically call cursing. Yeah. Or cursing someone, that sort of stuff. Exactly, and that I don't do. Let's see, one, two, four. And yeah, we are definitely back in time with this because there's no village here. Just a clearing. Which was... The, the place was founded by her grandfather. So, some 50 years ago, perhaps? So... Or maybe longer. We'll see. For now, we can't go over that way, so we'll just have to cross the bridge. Huh? Someone's panicking. 
My village, where is it? My father. My friends. You're all gone. We need to keep our cool. There's got to be an expl a logical explanation. My dad always told me everything had a logical explanation. Except RNG, yeah, because that never makes sense. I sure hope he was right about that. It's like my village never existed. Goggles, do you have any idea what could have happened? Uh, yes. Oh, really? Well, that's reassuring. I think we, I think we just simply cannot talk <laughs> any more than just yes and no. This must be connected to our fight with the Guardian. Maybe they took shelter in the mountains? No, then, do, then they would still be buildings. Let's go there now. I'm sure everyone's safe and sound. Hello. Ew, I think we might have... No. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't steal the Lumberjax hacks. Hello. Well, what do you know? We don't get many visitors around here. You're trying to escape the war, right? Uh, yes. You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from all the mayhem. Okay, so this is more than 50 years ago. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. Weird, he reminds me of my father a bit. He's not from my village, in any case. And he doesn't seem to know why it disappeared. Skagos, don't pay too much what? attention to him. The war ended a long time ago. I guess he's off his rocker a bit. Now the ones who are off their rockers are us for the moment, since the war is very much still going on here. As well, he's not off his rocker, he's sitting on it. <laughs> I think that was a stump, or... Yeah, he didn't pay much attention to his seat. <laughs> Let's see, grizzly path, and uh, of course there's grizzlies. That looks only... Terrifying? What was that adorable? <laughs> and hello, Mark. Welcome back. And yes, we're playing Evil Land 2, which so far has been pretty impressive. Hello, Marco! Hello. Oh, oh, you... Okay, you go invisible for a bit. Or on instance. Oh, it's a maze. Uh, of course. Oh, I hate those. Spiders. No, those yeah. are spiders, not fighters. Okay. Of course. Simplest and dumbest solution, Holy. just go back every time. The switch or a hammer? Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably a lever. It's. Yep. It's completely rusted. It would take at least a good smack for it to budge. Well, apparently we can't smack good enough then. Uh, let's see, it's way better than Evil Land 1 and even has sto a story this time, yeah. Uh, it's I said it before, e Evil Land 1 is nice and all, uh, but the fact that it's a love letter to gaming's progress sort of... Uh, uh, sort of hamstrings its ability to tell an actual story of its own. Let's see. Oh, well. Yeah, but it, they only reuses some of those there concepts we go. here. Yeah. Not sure how that would turn a crack into an actual pathway, but okay. Hello, Gunner Rom! Yep. Hey, Rom, how are you doing hey. today? Yep. Okay, there it is. Uh, sleepy. Hot because of fucking weather is just going Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, how's it going, everyone? Uh, pretty well, I'd say. Pretty well so far. Low on health. Uh, oh, yeah, this is... For that. <laughs> this is Everland 2, the sequel to Everland, and it's a lot more gameplay enjoyable than Everland 1 at the moment. It's... Yep. The title looks yeah. like... Would like Pokemon, but you kill shit on it instead of collecting. Instead of oh, you, you should have seen earlier. It was, it was game in Game Boy looks. 
Okay. Yeah, it, it graphics will change depending on level. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. And also, I'm gonna have to say, I misread uh, Marco and Shet there for a moment. Oh? I, I, I thought I read, you have to short attack the sandwiches. <laughs> no. Hey, guess what? Oh, that works. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. I found a mod that allows you to play Half-Life 2 and its expansions, I think, at least the expansions parts I know, Half-Life 2, on co-op. Okay. There's oh, one for so... Half-Life 1 called Sven Co-op. Yeah. Okay. Half -Life, Which is actually also a separate game. In, yeah, but actually they're both downloadable on Steam for free. Okay. I have a feeling I've seen the worst Primate ever play it. Yes, they did. And yes, they killed each other, and one of them was, in fact, Paul Blart security guard from Black Mesa security guard. <laughs> uh, and course. they even the damn train somehow. Like, they got it to fucking do drifts or something like that. Because it, it's <laughs> just as what uh, Worst Primate ever is all about, just managing to wreck everything. That and also the game was only meant for one person because I know Willie has, because I've seen Willie Ass's video on Half Life One, where he played it in Sven Co-op with a bunch of friends, and basically a bunch of the sections don't quite work all that well because there's like eight people instead of one, and it causes some glitches, <laughs> like the aforementioned train section of on a rail. Where every once in a while, one of them, they would all have to jump, one of them would die at random, and the train would continue, then start to move again. Uh, uh meatballs, eat them, consume no. them. <laughs> These are a bit stale, and we're on the normal difficulty, Marco, so adventure. So, effectively speaking, if we ever were to play Co op Half Life, it'd be a, a an incredible clusterfuck of friendly fire and occasional suicide just to make sure the game doesn't shit itself. So fun. Even, you tell yeah. me to make sure that Lissy doesn't go full gremlin mode. Oh god, Lissy. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, we can add that to the recommendations of co oping. Yeah. And, and spend co op. Oop, there we go, nice timing. You leveled That's... up. Goggles has reached level five. What was his old man, the guy from System Shock 2? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, this, the basic name is Kuro, but since that name is already taken in our personal history by a certain bird, I decided to go with, well, the most identifying feature on our character at the moment. The <laughs> a pair of goggles. That he even fucking wear. <laughs> yeah. He is wearing uh, goggles. Yeah, but he doesn't put them over his eyes like goggles are supposed to be worn. Yes. Yeah, like... <clears throat> is it true to see often in games and manga and such? I mean, at least in the case of Naruto, it's supposed to be like, uh, that's just a replacement for like a ninja headband. And amusingly enough, in the original like concept setup he was actually used he actually drove around on a bike so you could argue that's leftover from that okay i thought they'd all gone extinct because of global warming anyone this one is blocking our path forwards i know i used a bracelet of great strength i bought that's from a trader the other day uh, you just bought it off a random trader I'll shove the mammoths uh, off the path in no time. Whoop, well, looks like you got duped. It's oh, that, not that, working. That's the, that's the Latin name for mammoths, by the way. Also, I entire... All of the DLC for... Uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Okay. So now uh, I can play the full game. Oh, the poor thing. <laughs> could it be that that uh, could it be that trader sold me a dot bracelet with no magic at all? If I find him, he's gonna wish he'd never met me. Watch it be a bracelet of weakening. 
How much you want to bet that it actually does have magic? It just works in an incredibly esoteric way that nobody figures out until the end. <laughs> Probably. Well, I'm fresh out of these. I'll leave the problem in your hands. Goggles. Oh no. Hail. Whack him. Whack him. Charge. It, it, that works. <laughs> I, I thought yeah. you were to blew it off the cliff. Yeah, they don't like getting charged at. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, poor police. Yeah, well, I mean, they're alive. They're certainly doing a lot better than the real world. Yeah. Yeah, or they survived uh, when the pyramids were built. Oh, hey, have you ever heard of you, me, and her, a love story? Can't I say I have. Uh, also, Marco, please let us try and figure things out a bit first. Uh, if I get, uh, if we get stuck, then I'll be sure to ask you for a bit of advice. Okay? Okay, so long story short, this, what I, that whole set of words that you said is a visual novel. Okay. Where you play as a dude, and there's two girls, and basically things kind of fall apart in meta ways. Oh. So, while interesting to stream, and I haven't seen it on the Twitch ban list, hmm. I think that's because the regular Steam version is censored if you want to have, like, you know, visible ish sex you have to pay like extra money to the creators in chest usa uh, of course but well did chest make this thing i don't fucking remember who made this thing actually but yeah you have to basically pay extra money for it to have the x for it to have like those C <laughs> you're stuck no i'm not <laughs> uh, Oh, you figured it out. Uh, but as far as I can tell, this is mostly so that the game can get away with a mature rating without it just having an AO rating and being unsellable. Yeah, because some places will just not sell something if it's rated, uh, yeah, mature. No, uh, adult only. Mature is still available. <laughs> oh, I, th I see what we need to do. These are switches. Uh, but anyways, it is interesting to play, but I am also terrified of recommending you the game because I do not want you to get your ass banned into the Twitch by the Twitch gods. Okay, so and what I'm, game was that again? Uh, it was called You, Me, You and Me and Her, A Love Story. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. That rings an old bell. I, I think there, there's a comic based on that that's a bit of my YouTube recommendations. Ah, that's too far. Uh, let's see got then. One in. Now there are three plates. This one needs to move over. Let's let's actually move them both over if we can. No. Okay, so that one's kind of stuck at the moment. We need you out of the way at the absolute least to get access to that. Let's see. Let's move you up first. Hmm. Okay, they move more from the area that they are attacked from. Let's see there. Hold up, Move God, you. I need to find a charger real quick. There. Like um, and there's no way for us to move this one down. So we'll have to keep it over here for the moment. You, we move that way. Actually... Mm, no, that you wouldn't can't make sense. You can't get to that one over there. There's okay. not enough space for that one to get there. We move you down for a bit. 
Then we get you to move over and cover that plate. And there we go. What was that about already fucked up, Marco? <laughs> Let me check the Twitch, the Twitch battle. The Twitch ban list. Okay. And there we go. It's the simple okay. s a sliding puzzle. Game. Okay. Let's see. Heaven at Games. Save secret on Twitch, blah, blah, blah. This game violates or... Okay, so if the ESRB rating is AO, or if it violates the community guidelines, as it applies to sex, age, sex, nudity, gore, or extreme violence. And yet I see... And yet... Hang on, let me see something. Let's see. M, 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 I know Manhunt 2 isn't allowed to be screened. And, oh god. Okay, let's see. From the top, 3DX chat. All randomized video chat platforms. Artificial Girl 1, 2, and 3. Artificial it's... Academy. Battle R word that we can that we can all guess what it means. BMX Triple X, Cobra Club, Criminal Girls, Dramatical Murder. A game that I'm not even gonna mention. General Jousting, Resto 1 and 2, not even sure what those are. I think those are Doom mods, but banned. Harem Party, banned. House Party, banned. Honey Cam Studio and Honey Pup 1 and 2, banned. Kamidori, Alchemy Meister, not sure what that is, but banned. Negligee, Negligee, banned. Por there's, a, there's a game called Porno Studio Tycoon, banned. Farina Ohuro, not sure what the fuck that is, but banned. Farina Party, banned. <laughs> Pita would be Ray... happy about this. Ray... Wait, what happened? Yeah, uh, uh, a man mistake. <laughs> Maybe it's a text. Wait, is she, is she in your party? Hmm? Uh, like... I think she's about to be in our party here. Who are you? No, I meant... Never mind. Do I know you? Did Professor Giro send you? Uh, no. I'll never go back to his lab. Nope. We don't know of any Professor Gyro. Gyro or whatever. Let us help. Let me go. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Catch her. But be careful. The Colonel wants her alive. Who the fuck is the Colonel? Oh, this dude. Oh, this fuck. I'm guessing it's not Colonel Sanders, so it would be hilarious if it was. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of you. Don't oh. give this game ideas. We fucking... Turns out the true bad guy was KFC all along. Oh dear. Uh, uh, by the way, Rob, did you say the game you were afraid to recommend was a visual novel? Yeah. Yeah, we are likely not gonna do that then. Yeah, not... The visual novels are typically uh, a bit iffy with game... It, there's a reason they're called visual novels, and I prefer to play games more with uh, story, uh, with gameplay and story, not mostly just story and clicking for time, <laughs> clicking for re reactions and such. Not to say that game, you know, not to say that visual novels don't count as game, yes, but just I prefer. To, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that stays collected. Sorry, not just your preference. Yeah. It's more, yeah, that, and it doesn't feel like it fit our stream style. And bloody heck, <laughs> Hillian's fruit will be dry. Yeah. Okay, here we go. With this minute. We're pretty rich already from cutting all the grass and monsters. 451. Wait, 451. Oh. Isn't that the arcane code? <laughs> I think it is. Yes. Uh. And now yes, we just never fucking... collect any coin ever again. Oh, four, five, one. This is that is literally the fucking code used in every game that has like in every fucking what was it? What was it called? Uh, uh, immersive sim since shit. I don't know since fucking Looking Glass was a thing. Yeah. 
Hit him. Okay, time to deal with the KFC army. Did you know that Second Life is banned in Twitch? No? How so then? Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, we can probably make guesses. There are a lot of adult content in Second Life. Life. Yeah. Which you may accidentally reveal or show. Oh, hello. Yeah. What is going on here? He doesn't have the beard to the be girl? Colonel Sanders. Yep, yep. <clears throat> and he kills us instantly. Oh, well, oh that happened. is supposed to be. Who are these people? There's two of you now. Thanks. Uh, Yandere Simulator. Actually, there's a funny story about this one. Oh. Oh. The, the game has been under development for the last few frigging years. Yeah, I'm expected to never finish. Pretty much. But it was finished! Oh, it wasn't. It, it's still not finished. It's still on work in progress mode. But anyways, basically, <laughs> at one point, Twitch banned the game from being streamed. And they never told the creator why um, until, like, a few months later, they got around to basically saying, there's a bunch of content here that violates our guidelines and we're not going to revise it. Because the game is literally still in progress, and we don't have to revise every version you make of it, so we're not gonna, so we're not gonna check it again until it's finished and sent out, and then we're gonna be, we're gonna check it out and see if it can or cannot be streamed. And since it's likely never to be finished, it's likely never to get unbanned. And yeah, I believe, uh, I believe they go with the alias Yandere Dev or something. Uh, yeah. I've heard not too uh, flattering things about them as well, so uh, probably good that that game is banned and we'll never play it. <laughs> if it's and still it's even available. It, it, well, I'm pretty sure builds are still available a little bit, but what amazes me the most is that if you play something like, I don't know, I think there's a Dead by Daylight clone, but that has like internet stuff on it, that the fucking characters from... Yandere Sim are there as, survive, as the equivalent of survivors. <laughs> of course. Let's see. They attacked us as we were about to apprehend the target, Colonel. Oh, sir, you're Sanders. Uh, Colonel Dulkin Sander Sanders. I did warn you not to frighten her away. Where is she? I... She got away, Colonel. Well, you're idiots. Keep looking. Take those other two in the palace. To the palace, you mean. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, take those other two to the pa in the palace doesn't quite make sense. I'll question them later. Yes, sir. <sighs> yeah. I'll say this about the Yandere Simulator. How was the bit that... I didn't find the game fun. It started out as basically just fucking around whatever just a bunch of youtubers doing whatever the fuck and then it sort of changed and it tried to also be like yandere hitman but it's not really working out and i'm pretty sure that by saying all these words on the internet i'm getting the guy who is making the game yandere to hate my guts pretty and sure he hates everyone's know. guts <laughs> yeah. Only um, wake, are you? No. First time you say no in this game. <laughs> yeah, just to mess with him. And I'm pretty sure the yes and no so far have had hardly any effect <laughs> since he didn't even oh, respond. Not, honestly, at that point, I think she's like, "Are you awake?" And you go, "No." And, just, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever. We're trapped." Just don't know and where we are. Well, you did see new mm -hmm. earlier. Second. I'm afraid it will take a while to get back to my father. I mean, look, they threw us in prison. This place is just filthy. You'd think we were sent back 50 years ago, during the golden age of the Empire. Anyway, it keeps getting harder to explain all this logically. Well, would you be willing to actually... Well, if I were to stream something like a visual novel, would, would you be willing to watch me pull that? Mm, sure. Honestly, I'm just asking because there are times when I try to, like, 
stream on like Halloween and whatnot, a visual novel that I feel like fits in, but nothing, and I'm just there talking in dead silence. It just feels awkward. I managed to okay. get more people to join up when I played Fear than I did fucking Danganronpa. Let's see. The soldier who brought us water forgot anyway. to close the door again. <laughs> We're pretty lucky, huh? Anyway, sorry for that and everything else at random. Mm, I no gotta problem. Go. Uh, I gotta go get lunch, food, and I don't know, maybe later sleep and probably actually play Battlestar Galactica Deadlock since, like I said, I bought all the DLC and also buy a cheaper game for my brother. Because okay. Why not? So I'll see you guys later. Have fun and be safe. You too, and enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Be thank safe, you. Rob, and have a good feast. Yay, thank you. Let's see. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Awesome, let's get going. I'm sure you'll manage just fine. They took your sword, but all you need to do is avoid the soldiers. You can't solve everything with violence, you know. Just 99% of all problems in games. How about the chatterbox, this one? Can we even talk at all? <laughs> I'm counting on you to get us out of this hellhole. Let's see, chat. Uh, Marco, oh boy, time for the most dreading section in this game. This whole place is a reference to Metal Gear. Da Danganronpa is a good vision of. I've heard, I know it's gotten like six games by now. What? Uh, but I don't think it'd be my uh, thing. Like, uh, yeah. I know there are some games out there that also ma mix in puzzles and such. Uh, let's not talk to the guards in just in case. Let's see, can we... Can't talk to you through the bars? Okay. You're just... Looking the other way? Nope. Just in time, apparently. Okay. I'm going to assume just don't get in front of them. Oop. Oh, we even hide in the dark. Also nice. Yeah, let's see if this is... That tricky. Let's see, it has four games and two fan games considered canon. Okay. And that's a bit of a rarity that fan games are considered uh, adopted as canon. See? It usually means that whoever made the fan games understands the lore quite well and impressed the original devs. Ooh, yeah, that would have been a trap. Of the end, we? Let's see, no guards here. Oh, yes, guards here. But yeah, it is definitely rare, but definitely also a good thing. But that means the fans Oops. knew what they were doing. Can I... <laughs> okay, I thought it was a chest, not a cardboard box. Seriously, Goggles, what exactly are you doing? Don't tell me you're... you actually think you can get past the guard by hiding under that box. Well, then I'm not telling you. Sometimes I wonder how you come up with ideas like this. Well, all right, if you insist, go ahead and try. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Is it like the real work as long as you don't get seen moving? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, we can't go down, so we'll have to follow after this guy. Probably avoid getting walked into as well. Yeah, it reminds me. Oh. I only hmm. recently realized, like, there's an anime called Mons Musume, you should probably have heard of. I only realized recently there's a scene there that is referenced to Metal Gear. Okay. Where Mia, the, the Lamia girl, actually hides in a box. I don't know that. She actually wears uh, a solid snake's uh, attire. Hmm. This guy's... Uh, that guy's not going to move. So do we have to do what I think we'll have to do here? So just move to a spot where we won't be seen. And pray they don't use you as a uh, court table. Yep. Yes, that happened in Henry Stickman. <laughs> uh, what well, are we Henry supposed Stickman. to do here, then? 
you must go down to Goblin Town. Like down from here or down back to the other floor? Down the stairs or down the path? Yeah, I was thinking he'd he had to push us up past the other guy to the room. Uh, what? Just down here or down the stairs, Marco? Let me see. Is there anything around here? It probably here says, well, like I was watching uh, that path, so it would not be possible to just go down that path. Nothing to see here, just a down, box of crackers. Down to the room with the guards training. Yeah, that, that again, Mark. Down the stairs to somewhere here, or down the path where we just got the box? Because there's nobody else here to get to, so I presume we have to go down there somehow. On the second floor. Down the room with the, the ghost running on the second floor. How so we... Okay. Okay, I'm... Um, skeptical. The question is, how do we get past those guards? Because we haven't seen the uh, the lower one turn around. Like the only one who seems to be moving. Oh wait, can we? Is there anything here to find? Uh, guessing a star. Uh, that was a bit of a. <laughs> An error there, I think. Yeah, just a star. There we go. Thought we could have to absolute least maybe grab up the uh, that helmets for armor. Yep. Hmm. That gold there is the problem. If they're not going to turn, then we can't go down here. The only path that seems like we should be able to go... Like, let's see. If, this way we can keep an eye on both of them to see if either of them turns. But if neither of them turns, then we can't progress here at all. Let's see. Marco, I'm proud to say that I collected every star until the town section. Oh. Okay, pressing X moves the camera a bit. Hmm. Uh, gonna get some water. Yeah, I, I do not. Hmm. Maybe we can tip something over in the other room. Yeah, if this guy's not going to move, then we just cannot progress. Hmm. So go to the room with the guard looking to the right. You mean down here somewhere? Like there There is literally nowhere here that we can progress and I forgot to activate that save point. Yes, I know. <laughs> just... Okay, just zip past there. What do you know? No. That I got you a new bird? Let's see, I do not see anything here that we can do. I... Yeah, we, we can't go down there without him turning for some reason. And slip past just beyond his vision. You mean by the barrel? Okay, that's that's just stupid. Yeah, they, they should they should have 
they should have made clear that the ha that they have a limited range of vision. Yeah, I can see people getting stuck there. At least until someone's crazy enough to try that. So yeah, a, a small minus point for the game there. Okay, we've got a patrol, multiple patrols. Do I see gold? Wait, why is the gold here near the prisons? Confiscated goods, maybe? See, only this section is bad. Oh, All I see. Right. You go back and forth. Let's see, they're asleep. Is there anything here that we need to collect? Doesn't look like it, really. There we go. Okay, I'll admit it. You were right about the box thing. It was a good idea, after all. How was I supposed to know those soldiers would be so... so... scripted? No, that's not the word I had in mind. So, incapable of noticing a box that's moving around right in front of them? Well, anyway, nice job. I hope the next floor is a simple. Here we go. Let's see, Wait, you missed the uh -oh. prisoner with the password part? What? Yeah, we saw it. Hmm. Okay, so they still react even though we are... Let's see, how did, how did that song go again? Hmm, oh yeah. Sir Robert heads west. Sir Robert is the best. I forget how it ends. Okay, we, uh, I didn't press A against uh, that that prisoner. I pressed X against him and forgot that that's not the interact button. Let's see then. No. Yeah. The Magi used a very old, old numbering system where the letter C represented 100. C? Wait, that's Latin numbering. Uh, hello. Phew. Another mile to go. If I only knew the whole password, I wouldn't have to toll like this. All I know is it contains the word broccoli. Uh, okay. C Marco. Uh, it doesn't matter much since I know the password from the top of my head. Okay. Let's try and figure out most of it and we can ask you for the first part then. There. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Okay, Sir Robert heads west, Sir Robert is the you know, best, and something with broccoli. And C is 100. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, pardon. Yep. Got too close. Let's see, we still have about half an hour left. Hmm. But yeah, they, they really should have telegraphed that they have limited field of vision. I guess the one you met in chains? Up, uh, further up, maybe have something? Yeah, we can't speak to them from the door. Okay. Uh, I met the one that's not imprisoned. Nope. Hmm. Hey, Goggles, it smells a lot nicer. Not the yeah, nicer. And it's a little cleaner, nice too. <laughs> I'm positive we're getting close to the exit. By the way, what's the deal with the password? Maybe some other prisoners know about it? 
first off, here. Everybody knows the last part of the passwords. Okay, we don't. Anyone trying to come through this door must give the passwords. Um, let's see. What vegetable do my kids love? Uh, broccoli. In the song, Sir Robert. Uh, Defeat the rest. Defeat the rest. If I count to C15, I get 104. Which fate do you choose? Uh, love? Incorrect password. A prisoner is attempting to escape. Okay. That's a guess from 1 to 4, then. Uh, da, 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 yes. Broccoli. Oh! Password accepted. You may pass. And they don't even look. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, not that way, so... I am extremely skeptical that he, this guy's kid's favorite vegetable is broccoli. <laughs> it seems that we can just hide in the darkness from the guards. <laughs> Perhaps they're all too scared. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> it's time to hide in you again. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, huh, seems you have a chance to escape after the whistle. Yeah, I just need to get distance or in the dark. They need to get to us first. Okay, now we're getting somewhere that it's carpented. Let's see. It's also easy to guess the password since it uses only one of the choice from each row. Yeah, so it, you can just keep going at it and in, in 16 tries you should get it. Since, well, 4 times 4, 16. And we got our sword back. Well, time to open up some job <laughs> applications. Uh-oh. Uh uh, okay. We kind of escaped the wrong way, it seems. Phew. We're out of jail. And into the Colosseum. Where did we end up this time? And here are our first challengers. <laughs> yep, right into the Colosseum. Go on, don't be shy. Come forward, please. Oh, no. Ooh. Great, we've gone to being executed to being publicly executed. Welcome to the Great Colosseum. Damn it. Uh, where every day the mightiest fighters go up against ferocious beasts. Please slow down when I present the contenders. As I was saying, today on my left, very young but very powerful fighters filled with youthful zest and unbelievable potential. Please welcome. Uh, what are your names again? Don't give him your real name. That might cause trouble. So your name? Uh, <laughs> Super Mario, Mega Clink, Solid Snail, <laughs> Wallet Man, Dexter, <laughs> Solid Snail. <laughs> Seriously? Please welcome the incredible, the amazing, the extraordinary Solid Snail. <laughs> Uh, so tell me, Salt Snail, are you in top form today? Yes, terrific! Salt Snail expects a crushing victory. He's gonna turn his opponent into Wolverine food. Oh! So. Ah, and I'm being told that Salt Snail's first opponent has just arrived. I brought a Wolverine, ain't it? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a thunderous round of applause the great, the magnificent, the extraordinary. Animal. Uh, 
<laughs> Manimal is the greatest, the bravest, the uh, hairiest bear tamer in the whole empire. <laughs> He's trained his wild bears to attack any target he points to. So tell me, Manimal, what is your secret? I use a special keyword to, to tell my bears to attack. A keyword, you say? That's terrific! And what is this keyword exactly? Yeah. Well, I look my bear straight in the eyes, and I say, get him! And they attack. Now, let me guess, they're going to attack the announcer? Or not? Get him! Uh, <laughs> that also works! <laughs> mm. And what uh. a cozy! <laughs> Rom returns. We're gonna come back, Rom, at the time. Welcome mate. back. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> a just bear tamer getting People... mauled by his own bears. People, just me clarify here. Rom is not the animal. He's not the animal. Oh, that's uh, just... some surreal timing. Anyways, um, <laughs> I wanted to ask a very dumb question that I know could wait, but it just came up to my brain. Go ahead. Would something like Killing Floor or Left 4 Dead count as a main quest or a side quest? Um, I think they'd be more for multiplayer days, not really... Uh, we could put it on some of the days in the main week. But I'm not yeah. sure if it would replace the usuals. Like we could put it... Unless Liz, Liz wants to only do Borderlands on Wednesday, uh, we could do it maybe on Monday or Friday. Yeah, I'm just asking because I kind of read the stream schedule thingy and basically remembered, oh, because technically my brain went... You know, technically Left 4 Dead kind of counts as a side. The Left 4 Dead and Killing Floor kind of count as a side, but because it'd be like stuff we do when we don't want to do like long games because they are rather short or at least because Left 4 Dead is is divided into like different campaigns uh, level into love yeah different campaigns and killing floor is a wave based shooter yeah <clears throat> and also Rome, you gave me an idea i did yes uh -oh. we have main quest side quest should we call the multiplayer days group quest we could i was almost thinking of calling it looking for group <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, wait, you were afraid <laughs> to give her some other idea? Uh, and Marco would uh, suggest friend quest. <laughs> we'll see how we'll call it. <laughs> Team quest. Uh, I don't wish to. Okay, so no, group quest, group quest friend quest. Turn. turn, not turn. <laughs> okay, uh... In case I forget, uh, can you can you put your suggestions for that up in the the, the game talk uh, or the game chat uh, channel, Ram? <laughs> okay, one second. I'll put in. Um, what I put in exactly? Left for Dead, or do I just? Uh, the the just more the name ideas you have. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Also, also him. I wanted to do that nonsense voice. Damn you. Uh, it looks like Manimal has had a little accident. Little Miss, we have every... <laughs> Miss, we have every reason to believe that you meddled in the fight before it even began. In accordance with Article 13b, Paragraph G, you are hereby disqualified. <laughs> Solid Snail will fight Manimal's bears on his own. <laughs> because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the fight will go on. Okay, you, you can continue with him if you want. Oh, sure. <clears throat> please, please return to your dressing room until the fight is over. It looks like you'll have to manage without me on this one. Solid snail. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what you went with? Yep. <laughs> Uh, the other ones were Super Morio, uh, Clonk Man, and a few others. Wonder Man. Yeah. And Dick's Terminator. Yep. 
Uh, don't do anything rash. That's Drakir's line. Those bears look downright vicious. But yes, yeah, she she assassinated the animal trainer with his own bears because it, the keyword to attack was get him. <laughs> and so she told them to get him. And then yeah. you arrived. Yeah. <laughs> and now, without further ado, this fight is on. Okay. There, I put in all the name might Okay. Thank you for that, Rom. Else, you're welcome. If anybody else has a better name, you can put them below my... Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm going to go ahead and eat because I am fucking hungry. And today's weather can eat me. <laughs> I don't taunt it too much or it might. But yeah, go ahead. Before you're so hungry, you could eat a, a bear. Because we've already killed all of them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, have a good night, everybody. See ya. Uh, be well, Rom. Be well. Yes, too. Uh. <laughs> and it's an overwhelming victory for Solid Snail. But let's not dwell on the past. Here comes the second fight of the day. The Flamingos. <laughs> Ailing from the depths of Malikor Woods. Master of Eastern Martial Arts. Admittedly small, but de decidedly de tough. Miss Reno? <laughs> Marco, Fantastic. why does he sound Russian? <laughs> Let me go over there. They're fantastic. The nimble, the extraordinary. Ninos were what? <laughs> oh, it seems that. that... <laughs> of course. Terrific. Uh, do I need to even support, s spell out the reference here? Ninja squirrels, Ninos mutant, Ninos squirrels, Ninos. <laughs> I had to do it only. And without further ado, let the fight begin. I'm trying to hold back it to not be too loud. Uh, and these are throwing shurikens instead of nuts. Oh, uh, go nuts. Yes, I said it. Uh, if I do, they may go nuts. <laughs> okay. Now it's just Leo and Donatello. With Raf and Mikey gone. There we go. And of course, the leader is the last one standing. There we go. And a nice and time level up for a heal as we slide over like a marble statue. <laughs> I'm often tempted to insert grinding noises there. <laughs> And another real sounding victory for Solid Snail! <laughs> Fun fact, if you talk to an announcer during the fight, he has some unique text. <laughs> okay, Solid if there's Snail. another fight, I will Solid Snail, just between us, where do you get your phenomenal strength from? <laughs> what strength? Really? Really? Terrific! <laughs> My line, you little bugger. However, however, that will certainly not be enough to impress your next opponent. But before introducing him, before introducing him, I have a big announcement. The Emperor himself insisted on seeing the next fight in person. Uh -oh. it. Not good. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for His Majesty Imperial Lawfare. Uh oh, it's the Colonel. Hmm? 
So, Colonel, that must be the young man you spoke of? Yes, Your Excellency, that is indeed him. Even though I can't see with my eyes closed, sorry. <laughs> Solid snail, if I heard correctly. He's the one who helped the girl escape. I see. Yet I made it clear she was not to be harmed in any way. Professor Gyro needs her. Wait, weren't the demons talking about Professor Gyro as well? We tried to intercept yeah. her without injuring her, Your Greatness. But her powers, however weakened, are still strong enough to push back my men. Find her. Counting on you, Colonel. Yes, Your Highness. And on your end, Great Magus, how is the battle progressing? We've taken Mayin uh, Bridge, Your Highness. The Demon King is hiding somewhere north and is trying to rally his forces. So I'm guessing those are supposed to be bells on his staff, but it looks like he has a big peanut on it instead. You just want the peanut, don't you? We have a plan to find his camp, and will then be poised to attack Demonia. However, if he were to approve the use of all means at our disposal, it would be quickly settled. I suppose you're referring to the new weapon that Professor Gyro delivered? Okay, you are not Gyro. Yes, Your Majesty. If you agreed to use it, I'm certain the war would be won, and the demons defeated in no time. Hmm. I will consider it great, Magus. As it is, this war is a dreadful business. Let us try to end it quickly and cleanly. If the Colonel's reports are reliable, more conventional means should suffice. As your majesty wills it, so shall it be done. He is so going to backstab him. I will make sure Professor Gyro is notified. His weapon will remain in his lab laboratory for the time being. But if the situation deteriorates, I will reconsider the issue. Understood, Your Majesty. If you would please excuse me. Yeah. Okay, that means he is not eager to use that weapon. <laughs> He's hiding something from me. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I get the feeling the man just messed with things to make it look worse, which made you know, ended up in the use of that weapon, which is why the demons of the current time, which is where we started, uh, are so angry. Let's see. Now let's see this fight. Some say that a very powerful demon has been captured by the great magic sorceress. But not before he killed several of them, which is a feat in itself. And without uh, your part. <clears throat> and without further ado, here is our next fighter. Healing from the northern steppes. Stronger than any other human alive. As ferocious as a raging beast. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hello? Okay. Marco! <laughs> Damn it. Menos the Daunting Demon. Menos, envy to save before this fight that's sure to be unbelievably bloody. I cannot die here. Terrific! Oh dear. And with that outstanding speech, let the fight begin! It do. He jumps straight up. Uh, hello. Focus on your fighting. Focus. <laughs> the game doesn't even stop for that. You know, if you can jump that high, you could jump these walls probably. Listen, uh. chat. Why me? Well, your name was the first thing that came up in my mind. <laughs> Yep, it's early. There. 
Oh dear. I hope I'm not too loud that I did that announcer voice. I don't think so. <laughs> you are strong. You have earned my respect, but I cannot die here. Might I ask you to escape with me? I know of a passage that leads outside the Colosseum. But alone, I cannot flee the, flee the city. So what say you? Eh, yes. No time to lose. Come. Uh, <laughs> she's going to walk out. Uh, how about... What about Fina? She's uh, somewhere else. Really going to leave me here? All by myself? Ahem. Where, where are you going? Hey! Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so, you know any jokes? <laughs> well? Why did the lizard cross the streets? To show kiss cap captain. Here we are. You should be able to reach the cellar. Remove yourself from my pass, old snail. There we go. See you shortly. Bonk. You ha got you got gravity rather dangerous the mighty will fall <laughs> and now it's a 2D platformer I thought that noise was you bra blasting your way through here are you all right no broken bones I hope we find ourselves beneath Genova the capital city of the Empire we should be able to escape from here a bonk <laughs> oh Sorry. Yeah, no worries, my spine broke the fall for you. <laughs> I said it was sorry, okay. You can bake it up by making a cake. At least you might be able to <laughs> make good on the promise and Pete's doesn't. Fine, if you want to be that way, get by on your own. So, do you need me after all? You do need me after all? Yes. This is our thoughts. Well, let's see. This wall is pretty high. How about we try... This. Uh, just <laughs> jumping. Go on, it's actually quite simple. Indeed, it was not that difficult. You, <laughs> you didn't figure out how... You didn't know you could jump. Your turn, goggles. <laughs> Can you forgive me for earlier? It's just that I was afraid you'd leave me all alone. What is making that noise? You know, goggles. I think we're lost in a time that's not our own. I'm starting to feel really scared. Do you think we'll be able to get back home one day? Yes. I wish I was as optimistic as you. For now, we have no choice. We must go on. Is this mm. game a reference to Chrono Trigger? I, I think part of it is, yes. Much obliged. With your help, I'll once again see my son. Ooh. These boulders blocking our way look impassable. But with our powers combined, we can summon Captain Planet. <laughs> we should be able to break them. Focus now to call on me. Oh, left back. Okay. Uh, oh, you, you come from above, not from uh, where we are. Okay. Oh no, Pillian, if you want to read the chat. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, oh, also, whatever name you choose in the Colosseum, Menace will call you for the rest of the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we are going oh, to regret oh that. Oh no. Roman was over today. On YouTube. Oh. Hmm. It was from a uh, Black Adder. No. 
<laughs> That's all pretty promising, very good things. Uh, so, uh, uh, Bodrick, Blooper. what was his name? Bodrick? He was the uh -huh. act where he's uh, dressed up as uh, Chaplin. He had a hat, and he was to use a dead slug and uh, co to, try to convince it to stay on its face. Okay. Take a moment to think what's wrong with that sentence. I've never seen much bl uh, black adder. Uh, you don't know what I said there? But anything wrong? A dead slug remaining on his face. Uh, he must convince the dead slug to remain on his face. Uh, why would a slug even need convincing? And hello, Metroid enemy. Also, it's dead. Yeah. And well, yeah. Black Adam, the officer, of course, replied. Uh, oh, what was his reply? I know I laughed. Something about the cling to the. Uh, yeah, it, oh, yeah, I think I remember now. If you fail to cling on to life, why would it cling on to your face? <laughs> Okay, this is probably just for like a star, that. but I'm going to go for it. <clears throat> yep, star. Okay. Uh, But yeah, I have heard that the humor in Black Adder is very good because it involves uh, the Monty Python people. Oh, that too. And Atkin, it, yeah, the actor or behind the Black Adder, is quite uh, wordsmith. <laughs> That would be one word for it. So. I still realize that me and him are kind of surprisingly similar. Like, I think you can remember over the years since I met you that you may know that I used a little metaphors. Yeah. And he does as well. <laughs> Though. I maybe don't use metaphors in the same way as is usually do. To one friend I have, apparently I still realize I have been going full Atkinson without either of us realizing. Okay, smash that open. Okay. Uh, let's see, Marco, I know there is an Orokin uh, ore somewhere in the sewers. Ooh. Oricon, alright. Oricon, uh, that, that was, <laughs> I was thinking Warframe with Orokin. Orokin? Orokin. Orokin? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, now I'm tempted to try and be full uh, at King Cassandra's on you. <laughs> Uh, hello. Okay, I'm gonna be surprised if I have. That key to the sewers gives off a fragrant bouquet of dead rats. <laughs> uh, hello. And this is more protein than your mushrooms. What was uh, that? This is a random tentacle beast. It better not be one eyed snake. <laughs> Oh, I see I, what I we need to do. I, I, I've been watching the old Kona the Adventurer cartoon series, and which I know this was made by three different animators. Oh? American, Korean, and Japanese. Hmm. Yes, there are some episodes that technically makes Kona an anime. <laughs> and they are actually the best ones. So they're the ones that have best and smoothest fighting and animations. And easier to watch. 
Yeah, there are some Dutch cartoons that would count as anime as well because they were for a large part animated in Japan. Yeah, and I think I had some cartoons from there. I, mean, I, I, I actually found a gift of one of them I can uh, send you later. Uh, let's I see, Marco. Let's see, my friend just bought Everland for 20 cents. <laughs> okay, that's certainly a bargain. Can we... But, oh yeah, what was it? There's a monster in that Kubla hmm. cartoon. This is a three-headed Hydra. I would want to see it, but not really. For it doesn't spit everything, but each head has only one eye. Okay. Basically, make it a three-headed, one-eyed snake. Ew, what, what, what's this doing in the sewer? Uh, corrosive uh, uh, stuff. Yeah, that's outright lava. Let's see, red I goo. Would you say it's alive? It's... So why are these metal? Actually, I think we busted out of the sewer in this area. Red. Oh wait, that's not actually a thing. Oh. Uh, it's a kind of worm that. They collect each other to a massive ball. Um, it was a, it was, it was actually a massive uproar on it of them on YouTube a while ago. But the people just said, "Those are just worms, and they do this." For people who was an alien life form. Try the whites. Sort of. The armor doesn't go far enough back if that's their face or something. It, it looks like a demonic trilobite, but they don't really have tails. Okay, let's free charge this attack. There we go. Okay, we only can attack to the sides. Uh, better go up in case these despawn, because we can't jump up from these. Actually, if they despawn, they take a long time, because that point was out there for a bit, so I'm guessing they don't. Level up. Come on! <laughs> Level up cost us to fall. Okay. Hmm. I know Super Mario 3 had bars like that to get around places. Oh, hmm. Okay, we could have gone that way. And now we can go get that way. <laughs> okay. Death in spicy curry. Oh, what was spicy curry? There we go. Oricon War. Oh, wait, no. Curry isn't really that spicy, is it? Uh, it can be spicy if you make it, so. Alright, then I will keep my yoke of this thing from uh, pre curry night. And there we go, another key that smells of rats. Fragrant bouquet of dead rat. Okay, that sounds like something Andy Kunz would say. Can I? Can I... Yes, we can. But, but what is the name of the actor who plays Mr. Bean? Uh, Robin Atkinson? So I was guessing his last name right. Ah, screw it. Let's get out of... Actually, is there something hidden there? Yes, there is. Probably just a star, but okay. Wait, ain't it actually Lord or Sir at the Roman Atticson? Uh, Green Group. Okay. I would not be surprised if he was knighted at one point or another. Axe. <laughs> 
Let's see, Mark, he'll calm down, he'll become overpowered with that smart overcon over or uh, let, Let's be overpowered then. <laughs> Certainly be fun. Hmm. I should... I you know that Ooh. can't open the door. Oh, hmm? oh, right, yeah, we did the overtime, so we have five more minutes. Yeah. Okay, oh, another... Okay. Let's see. Ah, finally, we're in the open air. Hmm, it even smells like cake out here. Come to think of it, I've hardly had a bite to eat since we started what was supposed to be a quick stroll. That cake smell <laughs> makes my tummy rumble. Goggles, aren't you hungry too? Yes. Great, then let's find an inn. I could eat a horse. I could eat a horse. Uh, I too would be amenable to a little rest, but we should stay discreet. The city gates are closed due to the war. We shall have to devise a plan to get us out of uh, out of this bind. An inn would certainly be a good place to obtain information, and just gather up a party of adventurers as well. <laughs> My people are more at risk with each hour we waste. Uh, oh. Something from Marco there? Go to the shop first and buy everything you can. I'm presuming we hit a point of no return <laughs> soon. Uh, trust me, you'll need to. Okay, that settles it then. We're gonna eat. The body needs strength in order to fight. Can't you just say that you're hungry, Menos? I... I am hungry. <laughs> now there we go. You just have to be honest about your feelings, and life immediately gets easier. Unless, of course, your feelings are that you hate everyone. If we're going to continue this adventure together, we have to be honest with each other. Right, Goggles? Let's go. I'm hungry, so let's nail. Let's get our strength and find information. Okay, let's go find that shop then. See, I'm guessing that's... There's the inf... There we go. Easy enough. Welcome to Razas. What would you like to buy? Uh... Tea? That'll be 25G, yes. That's flavored tea. It smells really nice. The taste... Something, something. Okay, sugar. 15. Staple food for any child under 10. <laughs> Whiskey. Is it cheaper than the tea? Drink responsibly. <laughs> okay, weapons. All the weapons and pieces of armor have been requ requ requisitioned for the war. Come back and see us when it's over. Okay. You can read the item description in your inventory. Uh, let's see. A mood steak. Pita would not be happy about this. Oh! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hello, Puma. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sup? Uh, doing well. We're playing. Uh, we're playing Evo Land Two, which is turning out to be a lot more interesting than Evo Land One, which was a, a, a love letter to gaming's uh, history. As well, in that game, Evil Land One, you start off in the Game Boy era and you slowly but surely progress through well the advancements in gaming, from getting more color, getting up and down movement, and eventually even 3D graphics. It's a, it's a nice little thing, but it's a bit boring to stream. So we decided to stream Evil Land Two. Uh, let's see, Puma. Uh, yeah, I, I played Evil Land before. It was more interesting. And yeah, for any ra for any other raiders who came along, uh, hi, I'm Captain Hillian. Over there, we have my co-host Rakir, and we tend uh, to we tend to stream a variety of things, mostly for story. But we do have a we do have a, the occasional multiplayer game that we do. It's, and sorry for interrupting you. Oh, I said hello. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I interrupted you saying more. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. A bit poorly timed with this, but uh, we were going to end the stream soon anyways, because we already extended things a bit. Uh, it uh, actually got us in stream now, really yeah, the, a little time. 
Yeah, the, the stream timer just went off as well, so <laughs> we're going from one raid to another. Keep the raid train going, huh? Uh, let's see, Puma, well, you have fun, I'm gonna lurk. Enjoy. Okay, uh... Let's see, we need to find a save point first. I'm guessing there's going to be one in the inn, but or was there one... It, it should us a save icon when you enter the inn. Ah, there we go, yeah, the floppy. Or on okay. the, in the shop. Then, uh, let's see... Oh, there's two windows missing here. Uh, okay. You have also a good night there, Puma. You too, yeah. And now it's gone back to full screen mode, which is annoying. Uh, right. Quit. <laughs> So okay, let's head over here and oh, a new hell of a boss episode is out for season two. Okay, we can check it out when that, we have time. That, that means we have two episodes to watch on. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's go to Twitch and I'll change the screen share so you can look along. Uh, wait. Oh, apparently I forgot this. Apparently, I forgot to close Honkai Star Rail off down this whole time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, who are on? We have a decent amount of people. We have from down to low, from low to high, we have Reef the Leaf streaming Breath of Fire 2 again. They've been streaming that every time we've seen. Uh, Nico Silverado is streaming Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I'm Nice, who we. Uh, we didn't raid her, but I did check in on her a bit before the stream. She is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, well, I'm in my act. Yeah. Samek is acting up now for some reason. Uh, it's it's Unia is streaming Hatsune Miko Project Diva Mega Mix Plus. <laughs> okay. Schwabe is streaming Deus Ex, likely the first one, I presume. Korodust is streaming Escape the Backrooms. Touch Scaly oh. Tail is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. And then we have Karenai with Warhammer. Are they doing the tabletop? Uh, okay, yeah, they're, you're doing the tabletop with... Uh, I believe this is a Tabletop Simulator. <laughs> Mix. They have a mod like this for that game? Yeah, they have for every... For, I'm pretty sure for every you know, tabletop game they have something. <laughs> and last but not least we have Halloween who is streaming sick in Street Fighter 6 any of them or shall we look for someone new and mm. <laughs> Marco is excited for a breath of fire it seems either breath of fire or core of dust I don't recall core of dust I mean, I mean core of dust at all uh, let me see. The place is muted, so we can take a peek. Just to nod your memory. Uh, let's oh, see. I for Okay, yeah, I recognize them. Okay. Shall we raid them to jump there and scare them with a, a, a raid? You are not. Let's okay. spread the jump scare. Copying name and... I forgot to start up the chat program again. I only now know this. Okay, slash raid and paste. Uh, let me let me check that out just to see if there's any lurkers around or any bots that need booting. Because I still keep getting bots every now and then. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, poor dust it will be. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Puma for the raids. Thank you Marco for chatting along. And thank you to both Ram and Drakir for uh, chatting, for co-hosting along as well. You're welcome as always. And yeah, let's see. Tomorrow we have Showcase Sunday. I have the games prepped. Uh, all of them work, or all of the ones that I have available are work. I had to kick one out because it would just crash on startup no matter what I did. Uh, let's see. Marco wants the name of the person streaming Breath of Fire. Okay. Uh, let me just open a new one quickly. Just copy the name over. I'll put it in chat so I don't fat finger in their name. Uh, I'll put it there so I don't have to <laughs> repost the, the raid thing. Retype it. Uh, yeah, tomorrow showcase Sunday for to, up to maximum of eight games to try out, depending on how long we go with some of them or how short we go with some of them. 
And then we have our open space in the evening. Um, so we continue with murder of Sonic the, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog there. I'll look for that. Okay, <laughs> pretty fun so far. And I don't expect it to be that long. Okay. I kind of hope it will become a good introduction for me into the Sonic franchise a bit better than yeah, what I told you earlier today. Yeah. Okay. For now, though, let's start up that raid. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you everyone again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls. <laughs> and uh, sewer rats and whatever else was in that sewer. <laughs> <laughs> uh.